Hello friends! Welcome to Family Time. My name is Eliana. I'm a children's instructor at the Elkridge branch of Howard County Library System. I'm so glad you're here. We're going to start by singing hello. One of the things I like to do in each of my classes is teach a few words of American Sign Language or ASL. ASL is the language that people who are deaf and hard of hearing use to communicate in the U.S. and in Canada. We're going to start with the words to our hello song. So of course we start by saying hello. For hello you have your hand open and your fingers together and make a little salute from your forehead. Hello. And next we're going to say friends. For friends use your pointer fingers and hook them together like two friends hugging. Friends. We'll sing hello friends three times and then we'll sing it's time. For time you touch your wrist like you're touching a watch. To say, touch your chin and pull it away, say. And then we'll say hello again. And we'll sing the whole song through twice. Ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Are you ready to sing again? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Thank you for singing along with me. Did you know that May is Children's Mental Health Awareness Month? It's the end of May now, but it's great to pay attention to mental health and our feelings all the time. And even though they're young, children experience a full wide range of emotions, just like adults. And it's important to remember to support them in those emotions and help them learn how to deal with them and how to work through them and how to identify the feelings that they have. So with that in mind, the words I'm going to teach you in ASL today, in addition to our hello song, are about feelings. And the first one is actually the word for feelings. So for this sign, you have your hand over with your fingers apart and you bend your middle finger and then you brush it upward on your chest. Feelings. Feelings. And it's very close to the first feeling I'm going to show you, which is happy. So for happy, this time you have your hand open with your fingers together and all of them straight. And you have to make sure that your face looks happy, because if you're going like this, that's not the sign for happy. Your facial expression is actually part of your ASL word that you're using, your expressions. So we're going to say happy. That's how you sign happy. If you're not feeling happy, you might be feeling some other things, including sad. So for sad, you have your palms facing you, both hands with your fingers spread apart, and they're going to move down in front of your face like you're crying. And remember, you have to make a sad face, right? You can't go like this. That's, that's not sad. 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 And the last one I'm going to show you for the ASL signs is angry. For angry, I actually found a couple of different ways that this can be signed, and the one that I'm going to show you uses one hand, and it's palm facing you in front of your face again, and this time it's going to kind of clench into a claw while you make an angry face. So, angry. You try. You try. I have a few books to talk about feelings and handling feelings today. And this one is Today I Feel, an alphabet of feelings by Madalena Moniz. And this can be a great one for practicing identifying feelings because it has a different feeling for every letter of the alphabet. And you can sort of think about what those mean to you and what they feel like for you. And a couple of other picture books I have are One, Two, Three, A Calmer Me by Colleen A. Patterson and Brenda S. Miles and illustrated by Claire Key. And you can see the subtitle is Helping Children Cope When Emotions Get Out of Control. So this one has a rhyme in it that you learn in the book, and it's really helpful to practice using that when you are having any big feeling that's making you feel out of control to help you calm back down. And these two, you can see, relate also to those big feelings, right? We have one that's called Big Feelings, and this is by Alexandra Penfold and illustrated by Suzanne Kaufman, and you can see a whole group of kids here, and even on the cover you can see they're experiencing a big range of feelings, and during the course of the story, their feelings kind of change, and you see how they deal with them. And this one is called Wild Feelings by David Milgram, and Wild Feelings kind of help you connect to your silly or your animal side with some of the feelings you might experience. 
And these last two are board books, so they can be great with your littlest ones, but older kids can enjoy these too. And this one is called Sloth and Smell the Roses by Eunice Moyle and Sabrina Moyle. And it's a fun way to remember to just kind of slow down and feel your feelings and practice some mindfulness, which is a great tool for everyone to deal with their feelings. And it's got some really fun, bright illustrations. And this one is called Yoga Bunny by Sarah Jane Hinder. And this is part of a series. There's a few others. There's Yoga Bug and Yoga Whale, and I think one or two more. And it just has some simple poses for little ones. And yoga can be a great way to work through your feelings. It has a little more information at the back too. And to deal with some of those tougher moments and calm your body down. There's also a resource that I'm gonna link below the video here that has some cards with some ideas that you can use when you are having some big feelings and want to calm down. And those are a great tool that you can have in your home available for your little ones to have ideas of how they might want to calm down. So as you read any of those books I shared or any others, you can look at the pictures and talk about how the characters in the books are feeling and think about how do you know how they're feeling? And practicing that can be a great way to help your little one identify feelings both in themselves and in others. So we're gonna take a minute to think about how we know how someone is feeling. I talked about feeling happy and needing your facial expression to match that. So what does your face look like when it's happy? Here's my happy face. You can see I'm smiling and you can even see my teeth in my smile, right? and my eyebrows are relaxed. You can see the crinkles at the corner of my eyes. Can you make a happy face? And grown-ups, if you want to pause, go get a mirror. That can be really helpful for you and your little one to see what your faces look like when you're thinking about things that make you feel different ways. So, like I said, we have happy, right? And we also have sad. What does your face look like when you're sad? You know, for me, my eyebrows kind of go up a little bit in the middle, and my mouth is closed and turns down. I'm so sad. What does your face look like when you're sad? Or the other one I showed you right was angry. How do you look when you're angry? My mouth gets really small, and my eyebrows go down and kind of together in the middle. I'm angry. My eyes even squint a little bit. And there's one other face that I'm going to show you because it's going to connect to our song that we'll sing next. And that's excited. What do you look like when you're excited? My eyebrows are up, away from my eyes. My eyes are open a little bit wider. I'm excited, so I've got kind of a little smile, but my mouth is open because I look so excited. Yay! My shoulders even go up a little bit. What do you look like when you're excited? And this is just a start. You can practice lots of other facial expressions and different feelings that you can talk about and see what those might look like. Okay, it's time to get up and move a little bit. So you might recognize this too if you're happy and you know it. But first we're going to be happy and clap our hands. Then we're going to be angry and stomp our feet. Then we're going to be sad and say boo-hoo. And then we're going to be excited and shout hooray. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're sad and you know it, cry boo-hoo, boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, cry boo-hoo, boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're sad and you know it, cry.
cry, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. If you're excited and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're excited and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're excited and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're excited and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. So it's good you got your face practiced before that. And feel free to make up some different ones with different feelings that you know. So I showed you earlier these cards I have with some different ideas of things that you can do when you're having big feelings. You can see I'm outside right now. You can play outside or think about happy things, drink some water, create art. But one of my favorites is taking deep breaths. And it's good to just take deep breaths, you know, in and out, but sometimes it helps me to have another way to focus while I'm taking a deep breath. So I'm going to show you a few ways that I like to use some tools to help me take deep breaths. One is called a five finger breath. So you hold up one hand with your fingers spread apart and we're going to take five deep breaths breathing in slowly while we trace up one finger and out slowly while we trace down all the way across our hand. And if you're still having a big feeling, you can go all the way back and see if five more deep breaths helps. You ready to breathe slowly together? Breathing in on the way up and breathing out on the way down. And you can you breathe in and out through your nose or your mouth, whatever's comfortable for you. You might want to close your eyes while you're taking deep breaths in and out. One more finger. Breathe in on the way up nice and slow and out on the way down. Great job. Another one that I like is called a hot chocolate breath. It's getting a little warm for drinking hot chocolate, but this kind of breath can be great all year long. So you hold your hands together like you're imagining you're holding a cup of hot chocolate. Or if you like some other drink better than hot chocolate, that's okay too. And you take a slow, deep breath in through your nose like you're sniffing the delicious smell of your hot chocolate or other favorite drink. Ready? And then you blow up gently through your mouth like you're cooling it off. Do you sometimes do that when your hot chocolate is too hot? You blow on it a little bit. So we're going to breathe in the smell and blow out to cool it off. Great job. One more I like is called a rainbow breath. And for this one, you wanna put your arms all the way out to the side with your hands facing up. It's nice to get a good stretch. And then we're gonna breathe in while your arms arch up to make a rainbow in the middle, ready? And then we're gonna breathe out as they go back down. Let's do it again, ready? Breathe in on the way up. One more little rhyme for you before we sing goodbye, and this is to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It goes, I have feelings, so do you. Let's all sing about a few. We get happy, we get sad, we get scared, we get mad. I am proud of being me. That's a feeling too, you see. Ready? We'll sing it through twice. I have feelings, so do you. Let's all sing about a few. We get happy, we get sad, we get scared, we get mad. I am proud of being me. That's a feeling to you see. Ready to sing it again? I have feelings, so do you. Let's all sing about a few. We get happy, we get sad, we get scared, we get mad. I am proud of being me, that's a feeling to you see. Thanks for singing along. Now it's time to sing goodbye. We have the same kind of goodbye song as when we sang hello, but instead of saying hello, we'll say goodbye. And the sign for goodbye is just a wave like this. So we'll sing goodbye friends three times, and then we'll sing it's time to say goodbye. And we'll sing it twice again, just for extra practice. Ready? 
Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Last time, all together. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you'll come visit us at the library again very soon. We're open now to visit and hopefully you'll join us for some more classes coming up as well. Bye!